I might have come a little bit, just a little bit too over prepared with too much gear for what I'm doing right now. I drove down to Salida, bringing my Mini 2, the Skydio 2, the Max, and the GoPro 9. And I don't even know what the hell I'm filming yet. A little bit of sunlight left, so I think I'm gonna take up the DJI Mini 2 because the Skydio doesn't work so great in low light conditions. So let's go for a quick flight. One of the things I absolutely love about this little guy is just how it fits in your pocket. Just, it's great. Obviously, this isn't just a drone video anymore. Although we did get some really cool drone stuff. Those of you who've been following my channel for any length of time know that I do all this stuff that I film here on the channel at these ski resorts in the mountains, everywhere else, I do with GoPros, 360 cameras, and drones. So even if you're not into the snowboarding, it's cool for you to watch this stuff to sort of see how I use these cameras to pull together these kind of videos. And in some of the videos I do, I actually do instructionals, tutorials, and teach you how to use these things to make your own videos. So I am here at Monarch Mountain. It is snowing, so I cannot fly the drones. Although I did talk to the people at the mountain about flying the drones, they said it was not necessarily their policy, but it was the Forest Service policy, which is so mind blowing to me because typically, it's the national parks you can't fly in and you can fly in national forest. So it's there's like this thin line and you gotta respect when they say no, you can't fly. So you, you just don't fly. So here we are not flying, even though there are completely open runs with nobody on them. And the Skydio, if it wasn't snowing, would have been awesome. This is my first time at this mountain and I'm just stoked to be here. It's different than the mountains that I'm usually riding. thing I can tell you about this mountain is because it is a smaller mountain they don't have the crazy big four million dollar snow making system like Keystone has so the snow is mostly natural snow and this season has been sort of a, a letdown as far as snow goes so there are some pretty thin terrain areas to watch out for rocks and tree trunks sticking up and little branches and things that are sticking through the snow that could mess up the base of your board. If you have an A Basin Pass, it gets you three free days here at Monarch. And I can see myself coming back here again before the season's over. Snow is falling a few days late, 
for Christmas, but it is coming down so beautifully right now. So far, everything here at this mountain has been pretty much just like every other mountain I've already shown you. And there are COVID restrictions with the mask up at all the bases of the mountain, as well as at the base of the chairlift, at the top of the chairlift. When you're on the runs, you can take your mask off. If you're sitting by yourself on the, on the lift, you can take your mask off. However, anywhere around crowds, you're supposed to have a mask on. They are open for in dining seating if you wanna stop and get some grub, which is good because there's nowhere close by to get food. This is definitely a mountain that's not like Keystone. It's not like Breckenridge. These chairlifts are much slower. They're fixed chairlifts. That means they don't slow down for you when you get on. They just keep coming. They bump them to slow them down for you. And they're a slower ride on the way up compared to like the high speed lifts that Breckenridge, Keystone, and Copper have. And I'm pretty excited to explore because there's not a lot of yellow jackets telling you not to go somewhere uh, to slow down and not hit a jump or not go through those trees. It's pretty much go be stupid and it's on you. It sort of kills me that I can't fly my Skydio here, I know you can't with the snow, it can't track, the snow messes it all up, but if it was like a bluebird day, there's so few people on this mountain, this would be like such a good one to get like permission to come and do that. Like the spacing of the trees, the way that this mountain set up would be ideal for like lapping with the Skydio drone. One of the great things about snowboarding isn't just going by yourself, although it's amazing to get out and just have a little peace and quiet to yourself, it's meeting up with friends. And my buddies from Austin are here, Jay, his son Ronan, his other son Charlie, and we're all just beating up, having a few laps now, just really just enjoying it. It's snowing, and you, you couldn't ask for a more fun time with friends. Oh. mountain reminds me a whole lot of the mountains I grew up riding like Big Bear, Snow Summit. A smaller mountain, a small little base area. Everything's sort of centralized at the bottom. They do have food places open. You can go in and just get a slice of pizza and then go outside and eat at all these chairs. Everybody's space. You just hang out with your party. I just had some pizza and I didn't get a drink. And Jay has something called kombucha. Did I say that right? Kombucha? And they said it tastes horrible, but they love it. <laughs> so I'm a little I nervous. It tastes horrible. I said, tastes I'm going to think it tastes horrible. It's terrible. <laughs> so let's uh, see if I spit it out or not. <laughs> Looks okay. Oh, it smells like vinegar. It smells like I'm dying Easter eggs. Really? And you drink it. Oh, that's hard. I'm scared now. Oh, it's carbonated. It's actually pretty good. Yeah, I do like it. That's weird. It smells bad. It smells straight up like you're you're doing Easter eggs at the sink with the kids. You know, putting those little vinegar mixed in with the tablets. You know what I'm talking about? It's like the worst thing I've ever tried. It's a weird flavor. like a flashback 
to a whole nother life. Because like when I was hanging out with Jay and his family, he didn't have a family yet. He had a wife, but he had no kids. So I've gotten to watch these kids grow up. So getting together like this, even though everybody lives so far apart, it's, it's almost like a page reopens in an old book that you used to read. I really enjoy having these times and these people and these connections that you will have hopefully through your entire life. Sorry I wasn't able to fly the drones here on the mountain. Hopefully I gave you some information about the mountain and you enjoyed seeing stuff filmed with the GoPro Max as well as the GoPro 9 and the Mavic Mini. We couldn't do the Skydio because, well, it's snowing. Make sure you've hit subscribe and the bell icon so you don't miss it because I have a lot of really interesting, helpful content on the way. So I hope to see you guys in the comments below as well as on my new Monday night live show that I'm gonna be doing come 2021. On those live shows, that's where I'm gonna be giving away those products like the Insta360 ONE X. And in the meantime, have a great, wonderful, blessed day. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Boom.